So maybe you have one of your first photography shoots scheduled and you're trying to figure out what do I need to do to get everything organized? Today, we're gonna to talk about my organizational tips for what I do when I come back from a photography shoot. And if you're new here, guys, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so let's jump right into it. Tip number one, and I cannot stress this enough, back up your files. The last thing you wanna do is lose your client's photos because you didn't back up your files as soon as you got home. So as soon as you get home, pop those SD cards into your computer, get them on the hard drive, and make sure there are, there's at least two points of contact for your files at all times. Now, a really good tip is to have an external hard drive to do this. So that way you have it on your main computer and also an external hard drive that's separate from your computer. Now, if you don't have that second point of contact, that's okay, especially if you're just starting out. I would definitely suggest eventually getting that, but I get it, it's expensive to get into photography. So what I do or what I did was just keep the files on the SD card until I delivered the photos to my client. And after delivery, you're good to clean up your SD card. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to touch on is how I go about organizing my photo shoots. Now I shoot on a Sony a7R III for my weddings. This means I have two SD card slots available. I always record JPEGs to one SD card and RAW files to another SD card, so they're nice and separate. Now my method might not be the best method for you. I'm just gonna go over what I do and it works for me. So the first thing I do is create a separate folder for my client's shoot. Then once we're in that folder, I'm gonna create four more folders. I'm gonna have a folder for JPEGs, a folder for RAW files, a folder for the photos I wanna edit, and uh, the final product folder. After that, I'm gonna upload my appropriate files to the JPEG folder and the appropriate files to uh, my raw file folder. Now the other two folders I have left here are the selection folder and the final product folder. The final product folder is obvious. It's the final pictures when you're finished editing. The selection folder is kind of my process and how I go into what I want to actually spend time editing. So what I'll do is I'll click on this JPEG folder, click on the first image, and just slowly start going through the photos. And as I'm doing that, I'm recording the file name of each photo that I want to take a second look at or maybe potentially edit for a final result. To organize this, I bring up an Excel sheet, there's Google Sheets, that's what I use. And I start the process of going through each individual photo I took and making the selections of photos, making a nice list as you can see here. And that way I can pretty much stage a folder, which is my selection folder, and just simply go through the photos of my selection photo knowing that I want to most likely edit most of those. Now, once I'm done with my selections, I'll have my Excel sheet up on a different screen and then have this side-by-side -side thing going on where I'm pulling raw files into my selection folder based off what's in my Excel sheet. And once my selection folder is all staged and good to go, I can just go right into editing without worrying having to look through 100 photos. So what I'll do next is bring up Lightroom and start going into editing. And once you're satisfied with the edits that you have, we're gonna go ahead and use that final product photo that we created earlier to save all the photos that we go through in our selective photo to that folder. That way guys, you have everything nice and organized. Organization is key in photography. I can't stress this enough, organization is so key in photography. If you keep your folders organized and your shoots organized, you're gonna have such a better time when learning this profession. Now you have a nice clean folder with your final product photos to deliver the photos to your client in whatever means you're using, whether it be Google Drive, Dropbox, physical USB drive, whatever you use. All right guys, I know that was a quick video. I just wanted to go through some basic organizational tips for beginners out there or if someone's curious on how I organize my photo shoot. I hope you liked this video. Please hit that like button if you did. I've been a little bit slow on editing. Life caught up with me. Work was really busy. Mid-November, it's gonna slow down quite a bit, so that's good. I'll start pushing out videos again. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.